Hello, I'm now going to show you how to make a dormer roof in Tinkercad. As you can see, there are lots of different types of dormer roof. Um, essentially, small roofs that stick out the side of larger roofs. Um, quite often, gable roofs have a dormer, basically to give lots more space. Um, quite often, they're used in, like this one here, a roof conversion. So something that would have just been an attic and not used can then be made into living, living accommodation. But they can also be quite... Uh, quite nicely built. So that's what a, a dormer roof is, or a dormer, which is the actual just the small bits that stick out. Um, let's have a look at how to do it in Tinkercad. So I've just started with a basic shape the roof. Uh, I've put a reasonably steep roof because uh, you know if it's in my test version over here, my prototype. The roof was actually probably a bit too, bit too. Uh, was quite a low pitch. It wasn't very steep, and actually probably wouldn't be the best best type of uh, building to have a loft conversion in. But yeah, nice steep roof, as you saw on some of these. They're really sort of prime candidates for adding a dormer, a dormer in to make use of that space, that roof space. Yeah, you can see really steep. So um, first of all, I've just got a basic building um, and roof so I'm not going to share that, you know how to do that already. Um, I'm going to make the gable again so I'm going to make the first bit of hole Control D move that out and I can make the original a solid again, I could have just copied the solid and made this one a hole. Now I'm going to Resize, uh, make a copy of this hole, resize from the center, shift alt, resize, make sure my snap grid's not too high to give the thickness of you want that you want. How does that look? It's a bit too thick, I think maybe it's coming a bit more. Shift alt. Yeah, just change the, the side lengths so that they're equal okay now the hole I need to remember to make the hole go all the way through to the end the inner the inner hole that is so um, let's make the first one the outer one a solid then we can select the inner hole and bring it all the way through like that Group those together, and you have your roof. And I haven't lengthened this. Oh no, I have actually lengthened it. So let's see how that looks. Use my five millimeter snap grid again to get it on the roof. Yeah, that's good. And you can always lengthen it. Is that the centered? Center it on the bottom building, which it already is. Okay, so now um, this is how you do the, the dormer section. Now I could just copy that one and rotate it. Um, in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy this and rotate it. So we're going to go Control D, and I'm going to do this. Some of the dormers get the roof goes to the very top of the main ridge line of the of the main roof. Some of them go a bit lower. I'm probably going to go have mine go just a touch lower, perhaps like this. So just a little bit before it gets to the main roof ridge. So um, what I'll do is resize it for a start. So Shift Alt to get the kind of size that you want. Raise it up so it's. Oh, so I've got my uh, snap good on too too much. I could actually do this both sides at the same time, but I'm just going to do one and then mirror it. I think. Um, maybe a little bit narrower and maybe a little bit maybe down by one I don't want it overhanging too much beyond certainly not beyond the main roof line so probably there and then I want the inner bit to be now the wall 
Okay. And let's center that. Hold down shift. I'm going to align it to the base. Align, click on the base because you want it to move. And that's that part. Now I'm going to use the, what is currently a hole, I'm going to ungroup this. So ungroup. I'm going to use this hole here to form the middle part. So I'm going to duplicate it. Move it out of the way just for a second. Regroup that the hole in the roof and then turn that into a solid and bring it back into position. In fact, let's make the roof the roof color and let's do this. Now, one thing I also need to do is to add in. Um, add in a cube on this bottom face here that's going to pull down because I see it doesn't float in the air. You can see on the finished version what I made earlier, it goes down like this. So let's do the same. Are you happy with how far that comes out? Yes, I am. So I'm going to change the work plane to um, the bottom of here just to find out the width of that bottom face. The width is 14.66, so I'm just going to get a cube. That's really the most important measurement, 14.66. Like that. And just get approximate sizes for now. That snap grid's still a bit too high, a bit too much, isn't it? Let's turn it down a bit. I'm going to align that to this face. I'm going to hold down shift so that both are selected. Align, click on the roof because it's the roof bit here I don't want to move. And then I can go align. And I can align that front face with here, like that. It's very clever. And you know what? That works pretty well, doesn't it? Um, obviously, you're going to make this building solid. You worry a bit more about how far these things go back um, to make sure they don't poke through but that's fine um, and I can if you want to let's just get rid of the put the work plane back to normal for now now in fact oh, one thing I have forgotten is look it's actually we want a bit of an overhang don't we so let's select both the triangular bit triangular pyramid bit and the thing let's group them together and just shift them back there we are there we have a dormer if you wanted that on the other side, you could just duplicate it and rotate it 100, uh, 180 degrees. Control D. Rotate 180. Oh, I should do mirror actually instead. Sorry. Control D. M for mirror. I don't know if it makes any difference mirroring it, does it? It's just... Actually, it does, yeah. Did I press a, a long? That's right, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Now you've got one on the other side now. So that's how you make a dormer. Thanks, I've just noticed that is a tiny bit. There we go. Now they're symmetrical.